Welcome to Watch Me Paint This Episode 4. Let me tell you about how I'm making this painting. I grabbed a canvas that was already painted on by my daughter when she was really little. I like starting on canvases that already have something on it because I can see something in it. So uh, right away when I looked at this, I knew I was going to do like this woman's head on a spider body with really long legs. Um, so uh, right now I'm just sketching it out with a crimson watercolor pencil. I'm using watercolor pencil specifically because when I go back to paint around it with the acrylic, when I touch it, the acrylic is going to pick up on that color and swoosh it around, which to some people, they might not be into that, but I like it. And um, the cool part about using watercolor pencil is if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off with water. <laughs> it's not like a pencil where you have to erase it. Okay. So now I'm negative painting. I got my initial sketch in there that I like. So I just grabbed yellow, cadmium yellow, and I'm negative painting. So I'm painting around the sketch. Just to like get a little bit idea of like the body and the legs coming down. I really didn't have any idea of what I was going to paint before I sat down to do this. I'm trying to challenge myself with these YouTube shows <laughs> so here i am just filling it all in with just cadmium yellow all the paint i'm using in this video is nova color paint i'm mixing it with water i don't use mediums as of yet i haven't really learned how to mess with those but nova color paint is so wet to begin with you barely have to add water to it and it still maintains that really bright color that i like desperately love okay so you can see me you can see how when i I'm going around the legs with the yellow. It's picking up that red watercolor pencil. But you'll see as I keep layering it, it adds a cool effect. I've done it before. <laughs> All right. So what's my next step here? My next step here is to um, give some depth to the body. So all I'm doing is mixing titanium white with water. And I'm just going around and doodling all over this spider her spide A T R <laughs> spider. So I'm just going in and getting some details in there. I'm making it really wet, white, so it's not drying to like a hard line. It's kind of smooth, if that makes sense. So I'm just going in there and anywhere that the canvas is exposed. I am getting white. That's probably 100% white straight out of the tub. But all the rest I'm using really watered down white, so it's kind of clear. So I can just smoosh it around. So I'm just trying to get definition to the legs here. I knew I was going to do these like weird long spider leg thing. Kind of remind me of this like dark crystal dark crystal movie there's these creatures with really long legs that run fast anyway i thought about those after i saw this finished painting so here i am just defining i'm not adding pink that's just white interacting with the red watercolor pencil i used at the beginning I'm just layering the clear white, layering it, layering it, and then going back and being bolder with with more opacity in the white. Um, let's see here. The brush I'm using is a number two round brush. These blue handle ones are my favorite. They're called Wonder White by Blick. So you can get them in a pack. I don't know. I just love them. It's my favorite brushes. You can leave them in the water for three days on accident. You can just beat them up and they still maintain their like snap. I don't even know if that snap makes sense. but Okay, now I'm going back to get my um, pale yellow, the Hunza yellow, I think it is. And I am just kind of working it in there. and moving it around and now i grabbed orange trying to keep up with this video 
<laughs> now I'm basically making like like a shadow behind the entire bean with this orange. And there's a little bit, I see there's quinacridone purple on my uh, palette there too. And I'm just kind of getting some little fun color variations in there, creating shadows of color and values. Um, sometimes it's hard to explain the thought process, but right now I'm just going in and getting some details in there. I'm trying to make sure that the nose has a nice shadow on it and a highlight. So now I'm filling the lips in with bright orange, which is an organic orange. And now I'm taking red, pure red, and I'm doing shadow on the lips. Now I'm taking titanium white and I'm fixing the face. I'm just doing, you know, slow layers of like little tiny decisions instead of like drastic hard lines that are set in stone, which is kind of my former method. Um, this is very much softer approach. Just keep going with the layers. All right. Now it looks like I'm trying to color match that, that green shade in the hair. I'm just adding some details. I just know that if I add a little a bit of dark colors here and there, it will it will make things have depth. I haven't used black once in this entire thing. That dark color is, I think, green and cobalt and red maybe even yellow maybe i'm doing blue eyes that blue is cerulean blue mixed with white i'm using a very fine tip brush here that's a zero that's a zero round brush that they make at our local art store I'll get you the name of it and put it in the comments. I mean, description. Ooh, just details, 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 tiny little black shadows. Just in the corners of things to make things pop out just a little bit. Right now I'm getting the quinacridone purple mixed with a lot of water and just kind of bringing out little parts of anatomy. Make the nose stick out a little more. Do some little marks on the legs to give them some depth. Now I'm getting some eyeshadow in there. This orange mixed with this pale green color, which is yellow green. Love that color. I use it all the time, even though it's very consistent. All right. This is me grabbing a more yellow color. This is cadmium yellow. And that's it. I feel like it's done. I'm signing it. I painted this. Please subscribe. Thank you so much.